Kiva Bay must be one of the most cinematic, perfect destinations along our South African coastline and is situated at the southern part of Transkei or Eastern Cape under the new naming. From Durban, Mazeppa Bay is about 550 kilometers far, and from East London, only about 180, thus making it a very accessible destination. Keep in mind that it's a 55 kilometer sand road to get you to the final destination. Mazeppa Bay hosts the famous island that stretches almost a kilometer into the sea, putting most anglers exactly there where they want to be. It is famous for the numbers of very large sharks being caught every year and probably our best shark destination. Several other species get caught here every year as well. Yellowtail, Garrick, Cobb, Muscle Cracker, but to name a few. And the best accommodation around is obviously Mazeppa Bay Hotel, offering exactly what every angler wants, as well as fully catered and self-catering. Now father, son, Jeremy and Tyron had a fantastic trip to Mazeppa Bay. And this is the next part of the excursion. The approach for this trip specifically was to use different methods of getting your bait out. Using slide baits, drone baits, normal throw baits, as well as the kite when the wind is too strong for the drone. But yeah! Oh, he dropped the bait. Come back, we go, come back, come back. Now we're on. Now we're on. We're on day two here, I decided to drop a nice shark piece and yeah, it looks like we got a good bite. Very slow fish, so far, not so sure what's going on here, what, what kind of fish it is actually. But yeah, let's see, it's very, very heavy. So yeah, we'll give it some time and let's see. I dropped a bunny on the drone earlier, probably about 20 minutes ago. And yeah, it looks like we've got a proper bite here. Woo! Proper fish this. Yeah, we'll see. I've got got serious breaks on this fish. I hope she slows she slows down a little bit. Come on. Yo. <laughs> the potent fish this. Let's see. Getting some line now. Now just to reiterate, as we said many times before, when hooking into a fish, take your time to find out how big this fish is. And when you start feeling that this is a really good sized fish, do take your time when the fish is still far out to see what he's gonna do. Get him tired out there and reserve your energy for when he's close, especially when fishing rocks. Now the Saltiga Dogfight LD60 has fast become one of the very popular drone reels and can take the challenge of hooking any size fish. Zippo Bay has got several deep water spots, allowing these great catches also on cast baits as well as slide baits. On this particular morning, Tyron and his dad was using the DJI Phantom 4, equipped with the Gannett Bait Release, available from Gannett in South Africa, locally designed and manufactured. Right guys, we've been here, on here for about an hour and a half. It's a really good fish, this fish. Um, yeah, she's probably about 150, 200 meters out, so she's relatively close. We're just going to try to play her around the rocks and see where she wants to go. So, yeah, she's swimming a bit right now. So, let's see where this, where this fight leads us. <laughs> see you guys. And as mentioned before, having someone like Andrew Swellendawa, a local guide at Mazeppa, to guide you through these rocks and where the best spots are to land the fish is an absolute must and will increase your results drastically. As you guys know, there's quite a bit of talks about drones and being an unfair advantage to egg. But honestly, let's face it, there are several sub facets of fishing and this is merely one of them, allowing you to get a better catch rate. Now realistically, we all know that fishing is very expensive. And when you spend a lot of money and take your leave to spend four, maybe seven days next to the coast, you want to increase your chances of catching fish. And drones will definitely play a big role in the future with more anglers, increasing your success rate. In short, money well spent. And very important guys, if you decide to take up drone fishing, make sure you use the right gear for the sake of the fish especially. 
using the wrong gear will result in fish swimming around with a lot of unnecessary braid or line and your wallet dented at the same time. What a memorable and unique catch this deformed grey shark, or shall we call it snub nose grey. Not only is this grey shark very unique, but it's a monster at that. Well done, Tyrant. Saltist 8 to 12 ounce Saltist, loving it. So yeah, dogfight lever drag 60, 65 pound J braid does the job. And yeah, as you saw, that was a beautiful fish. So, so, so chuffed. So we put out a whole bonito out the drone this morning. We got that incredible 260 centimeter female gray shark. So chuffed. like you guys saw. Um, my buddy Craig's actually hooked up to him. Uh, really good shark there, so we'll see if he can get that out. So, stoked to get this grey, probably over about two hours fight. Took a very long first run of about 700 meters. Um, and I eventually got into the rock, so I'm very stoked with that. Um, Thanks to Andrew, he uh, did an amazing job getting it over the rocks, I was getting me cut off. Um, you have to, next time you come here, anyone just give Andrew a shot. He's an amazing gilly and absolutely knows he's single the back of his head. Seven, seven. Ah! Well guys, 